you may have heard of gluten-free and, and gluten, but you may not know what it is. Gluten is a protein that's found in wheat, barley, rye, and kamut and spelt. Those are the main grains that have gluten. However, there's families, there's families of the actual gliadin uh, compound that are found in all grains. And gluten can be problematic because some people have a major sensitivity or, or, or an allergy basically to it and they create a strong antibody response. And they may be prone to things like celiac disease where the villi in the small intestine get completely destroyed. The villi are important. They're little pockets in the small intestine that are essential for our body to be able to really deliver and absorb nutrients into the bloodstream. When those pockets get destroyed, we're not able to extract nutrients from the food that we consume as effectively. There's brush border enzymes and all different types of mechanisms that allow us to utilize those villi to maximize nutrient absorption. So people with celiac disease, they right from the start have more trouble getting nutrients from their food. And there are a lot of people that have an allergy to gluten that is not even, uh, you know, it doesn't even affect their digestive system. We call it non-celiac gluten sensitivity. So they have a sensitivity to gluten that primarily affects maybe their skin. Maybe they, when they eat gluten, they have more eczema or they have more joint pain or they have brain fog, depression, anxiety, different issues like that. And so non-celiac gluten sensitivity is a big issue as well. So, and then even if you feel like you tolerate gluten well, we know that gluten, the molecule, will actually stimulate the production of zonulin in your intestine. And zonulin is th this protein that helps with the integrity of the tight junctions in between the intestinal cells called enterocytes. And the more zonulin that's produced, the looser those tight junctions become. So gluten has been shown, even in people that don't have a gluten sensitivity or gluten allergy, it has actually been shown to increase zonulin levels pretty dramatically to the point where the tight junctions in the gut become incredibly permeable, right? So the tight junctions, they become very, very loose and weak, and that increases the permeability and allows large undigested food molecules uh, as well as bacteria and bacterial waste, things, things like LPS, which we call endotoxin, as well as yeast, parasites, and all the different microbial waste to seep out into the bloodstream. And all of that microbial waste and large undigested food particles will stimulate the immune system to drive up inflammation in the body. So we know gluten is a major and a potent trigger of inflammation for some people more than others, but for all of us at some level, it's gonna drive up inflammation. <music>